Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube video. Today it's going to be a flea market video and a showing off a few new items. And I went to a flea market today, didn't find much, but I found some good stuff. And first thing I'll start off with is my favorite find. I found a vintage Buck 110 case. Great shape, I only paid $10. I actually got a knife that goes in this and it's going to look great in my collection. Those are hard to find. Uh, next item I bought were these Mother of Pearl knives. That needs some cleaning up, and I'll be turning around selling. They say, I'm going to try to pronounce this. Merid, I'm going to, again, I'm going to try to pronounce this. Merid Jackson Co. St. Louis. And obviously that means St. Louis, Missouri. I'm sorry if I pronounced that name wrong, but what the best thing I bought them is they are real pearl handled, real mother of pearl, which is always hard to come by. And I will be polishing these up, making them look a lot nicer, and they will be going on our eBay account. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So that was a good find. Uh, next, I also picked up some plain Jane letter openers. Now, you may think, why would I pick these up? Well, those who may know, I've been doing a lot of these silver handles. And what I plan to do is actually take one of these and cut a tang on and actually put it on one of these silver handles. Basically, kind of put a design like that. Make it into a nice looking dagger. And the letter openers have no brand on them, so I don't really know where they're made. I'm suspecting they're old and they're probably USA made. But they'll make great candidates. I've already got one right here taped with a, with a handle I plan on doing and a drawer handle, which I'll be using for the hilt. That's beautiful. And they were only like two bucks a piece, so heck, for materials like that, I couldn't pass on it. Uh, next is on an item that was given to me. This was given to me by my brother. He knows I'm, in traditional, I'm, in tra I'm into traditional pocket knives, and he gave me this one in exchange for doing some work for him. Love the design. I love the classic anchor emblem. Beautiful knife. I might actually use this every once in a while. Uh, next is the stuff that I have made so far, and all these I've made myself, and first thing I'm showing off is a piece I don't normally make very often, and that is a beautiful stag hunting knife. The blade came from an old circular saw blade, which was heat treated, and the guard came from one of these drawer handles that was made out of aluminum, and they, a nice piece of leather and a nice steel pin to help hold the handle all in together. And a nice, beautiful piece of crown stag. Now, originally, this blade was meant to be for a silver handle. But what happened is, upon making it, the tang actually broke. So I used what was left of the tang and actually made a little hunting knife. Still came out pretty well. Beautiful edge. Again, this will be going on our eBay page. Uh, next is this one I made with a silver handle. Or silver plated, I guess you would say. Nice high carbon steel blade, piece of aluminum for the guard, and a nice old silver handle butter knife for the handle. With a nice steel pin holding it in place. Beautiful. Uh, next is another one I worked on. This one I actually recycled an old imperial blade that didn't have the word imperial on it anymore. Again, a nice silver plated handle, and I made a tang, and again the guard is made out of aluminum. Beautiful piece. Again, this is on our eBay profile if you are interested. Uh, next is this one right here that I produced yesterday. Again, recycled old, old Imperial blade and a nice piece of aluminum for the guard and a nice silver plated handle. This one is not on our eBay page yet, but it will be going on there today. And so will this one I also produced. This is one of the larger ones I made. A nice little fancy Bowie knife. Again, a nice silver plated handle, aluminum guard, and a high carbon steel blade. Beautiful. And this will be the only one I actually have a sheath for. This is a spare sheath I had lying around that has no markings. So I'll just sell it with this because it fits this knife perfectly. Beautiful. Alrighty, that's all the items I've got to show, and I hope you've enjoyed. Like I said, if you're interested in the items I said that are for sale, happily hit us up on our eBay page or in the comments down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, stay sharp.